Hey folks, how y'all doing? And welcome back in Old Man in the Land of Grills. We're gonna cook on the Blackstone. So I'm just hankering some burgers tonight. And at the same point, I wanna I wanna continue on with the seasoning process on that griddle. So the uh, uh, best way to do it is to cook on it. So I'm gonna make some oh one third pound nice thick cut burgers, folks. Tell you what, infused with cheese and got some special seasoning in there, and two pieces, two slices of thick cut bacon all on this griddle, and oh I'm so hungry, folks. Uh, but <laughs> let me get this fired up. Let's, why don't you go take a look at those burgers, and, and when we come back from the burgers, we'll put some bacon on here. All right, folks, let's make our burgers here. We got about a pound of uh, ground beef. Uh, this is uh, actually, <laughs> I thought I was getting 80-20. 80, 80, it wasn't until I got home I noticed it was 85-15, so not that big of a deal. I already put some of the Zangs stir fry all in there, and I'm doing something a little bit different. I found this stuff called Cindy Lou's, and it's, it's available online. I'll leave the link down below. But they've got a whole variety of really good spices. Uh, www.rubsandmore.com, I think it's called. But this one's called Chili Lime. And you're saying, ooh, is that going to be grilled in burgers? I, I think it will be. It's got sea salt, chili pepper, lime peel, cane sugar, onion, garlic spices, citric acid, extra, no MSG, no gluten, no common allergies. So it's uh, good stuff. Put some of that in there. And then I really got get, getting into putting cheese on the inside of my burgers. And I always use this fine cut. And I like this uh, six cheese Italian. It's got a little bit of everything in it. But uh, it, it works really well, folks. If you haven't tried shedded trees on, on the inside of your burgers. Like I said, all I'm doing here is I'm not putting any seasoning on the outside. All my seasoning is going on the inside where it belongs. So let's let's get this all mixed together, make some patties. All right, to make our thick, juicy burgers here, uh, I want to get them consistently the same thickness. So I got my beef balls here. Uh, like I said, these are about one third pounders. And we just take, I got a plate. I've done this, I've showed these before. And the great thing about using the plate is a, like a gauge and it ensures that all three of them are gonna be the same thickness. And you just use a plate and another plate, and there you go. If you wanna shape them a little bit better, you can shape them a little bit better. But uh, that's gonna make, that's gonna make an awesome burger. Do one more, and uh, I tell you what, see you out at the griddle. All right, folks, bacon's on. Get some of that grease flowing in there. Like I said, the best way to season the Blackstone griddle is with cooking, and baking. bacon is one of those good things. And, I'm just gonna get it around here, and I, cause I wanna, I wanna cook those burgers in bacon fat. Oh man, bacon fat and burgers, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, folks, bacon is just about done. We're gonna get our uh, burgers on there and swish them around in that bacon fat. Oh man. All right, so we're gonna keep going and give these a nice char on both sides. I want them. Uh, Medium rare, or yeah, medium rare. Stay tuned. All right, folks, about two and a half minutes. Let's give them a flip. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's get them in some bacon, bacon grease on the other side, shall we? Nice. Really nice. So you don't want to cook in the same spot that you were because obviously where you were, that cooled down from the meat. So I always want to be in three, other, in this case, three other spots. So we'll brown these up, probably give them another flip. And I've got two Kaiser rolls that I want to get browned up to. All right, folks, about another two minutes. <laughs> Telling you what, these are about, <laughs> these are about done. Uh, you can see how far it's cooked in right there. So <clears throat> I gotta get my buns out here and get them uh get my buns all browned up and uh, we'll get these in let them rest and make some burgers stay tuned for that <laughs> well there they are all done all done that's what they look like oh man i got some bacon that bacon on there some pickles and some of this secret stadium sauce yeah it's a secret so let's take a look on the inside here yeah they're not medium rare they're more medium than medium rare but i tell you I'll tell you what they're going to be juicy and they're going to be good Mm, mm, mm. I can taste that seasoning in there and that cheese. Oh, 
gets the moisture and the fat back up and leaves the taste back. So I'll tell you what, it's awesome. Folks, I'm gonna continue eating. Tom Horseman YouTube. Secret Stadium Sauce. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. And uh, comments, thumbs up, and always, thank you.